Yeah, I was kind of interesting about what's going on with YouTube. About you know they're cracking down on you know uh, people's channels and people's videos about you know obviously kind of like how uh, Mr. Repsion and uh, who's the other guy? Um, some guy ate. Uh, gosh, I'm trying to remember his his name. Some guy, eight twenty seven. Uh, I think that's his his name as well. And uh, there's another guy I can't remember um, him as well. But you know how a lot of their videos or some of their videos are they're talking about other other YouTubers as well as um, as well their videos being um, you know blocked or uh, flagged for no reason or taken down for apparently no reason. Um, just the theme. I've I've looked at some of the videos uh, that Mr. Repsion has said in his in his video. Uh, you know I've watched some of them uh, before they were taken down uh, or deleted or whatever. Um, and mainly what they all are kind of about is either something that's controversial, so something about religion, something about uh, you know, and I usually don't make videos talking about any of this kind of stuff, like about religion or politics or sex or um, gun control or you know, or I just I don't go into a lot of those type of uh, making any of those type of videos talking about uh, my personal kind of beliefs or anything I really hear. But this, how it's affecting YouTube, um, I will kind of chime in a little bit. So. Um, it's just interesting at how I, I've watched some of those videos, and mainly a lot of them are uh, either about religion. Um, you know, it's usually about religion or uh, like certain type of rights, like gay rights, or or um, I mean, mainly actually a lot of his his videos. Uh, and the person I'm not really mentioning, but it's Amazing Atheist. I don't know if you guys have ever watched any of his stuff. He's uh, fairly famous on YouTube. Um, I've seen a couple of his videos, just kind of curious at, like what his take on certain things are. And you know, I've seen a couple of his videos on religion, and eh, I don't, I don't really know, but uh, I kind of won't really discuss my personal belief on religion, or, or, or um, yeah. But anyways, um, the videos that I've watched of his that you know talk about religion or talk about certain you know quote unquote co controversial things, um, you know I found them to they don't seem to violate anything. He's just expressing his opinion on a certain topic, um, and it seems like you know people are getting punished for saying their belief or saying their opinion when you're supposedly supposed to have, you know, freedom of speech. Um, of course, now, if, if he was making certain videos about, uh, uh, I don't know, I was saying if he makes videos supporting things that are bad, obviously, then I'd say that I'd have a problem with them. But the ones that he were making of, if if you're kind of like poking fun of religion or making fun of um, certain people or celebrity celebrities or um, I don't know stuff like that, I don't I don't find that to be offensive. You know, if you don't go too far, you know, if you don't like, you know, if you don't like threaten them or if you don't like, you know, I don't. If you don't say certain stuff in a, in a video that could be considered, uh, uh, like, I don't know, I think you understand what I'm trying to say there, um, you know, in most of his videos I watched that I saw, um, you know, he was making fun of religion, but, um, I feel that he has the right to do that, um, I think anybody has the right to make fun of whatever they want, you know, it, depending on, you know, how, how far you go, I think there, there should be a certain, um, line, um, certain kind of code, certain kind of type of line where you do not cross. Um, you know, I heard all about those, I don't know, what were those uh, jokes about the, like, the attack on the theater, and um, 
there's the school shootings, and you know I've heard heard jokes about you know where uh, they've people have made jokes about that where they, you know they go way too far into joking about that, and I really don't think that's an actual topic to really joke about. Um, having innocent children be killed, I don't find that to be funny. I don't find that to be amusing or entertaining or um, it just that doesn't. I I can't I don't know that doesn't seem right to me so um, you know it's just I don't know I I know there should there, you know you definitely have to have some type of obviously guidelines on to what you can and can't say like in videos or in like uh, publicly you know you're supposedly not supposed you're supposedly not allowed to threaten the president or you know, um, you're not allowed to do any of those like really like type of things that are, or if you just call them illegal, or or if you call them uh, like terrorist type stuff, or um, I know you're like you're not supposed to do any of that kind of stuff and and that kind of thing. But um, you know, when I was watching his videos, I didn't find anything. I guess you could quote unquote say wrong with them. Um, I have my certain beliefs on certain things that he said about those videos, or or, or, you know, kind of making fun of religion. I, you know, I don't think... I know he's you know, atheist, but, you know, I don't believe all, re all religion is bad, but, um, you know, I, I believe that most of it has a distorted view on certain things in, in life, but, you know, I don't know, that's, that's kind of hard to say when... It's kind of hard to back up when there's a lot of religions and you, like... You know, you know. How do you say which one is real or which one is true or right or uh, justifiable or for what they believe in or what they do? Um, you know, I can't really say that. I can't really judge that. Um, I don't try to judge people. I don't try to hinder people on what they say. I'm not that kind of person. Um, I kind of, you know, with. You know, I kind of, I try to be friendly. I try to be friends with people. You know, and if you, you know, if you don't want to be my friend, then okay, that's fine. You know, I don't, uh, I don't uh, blame you for that or whatever. You can, you can be my friend or you cannot be my friend. Um, I try to be a friendly person. I try to be kind and outgoing and and sharing and caring and stuff and um, that kind of thing. But uh, poop, my phone ringing. Some strange number V eight two eight two eight nine two two five zero 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 five two six. All right, that's a weird number. I'll just let that ring. Um, definitely, it's a tele telemarketer or something. But that was interesting. Um, sorry. I'll let the. Uh, Do they stop calling? Okay, they stop calling. And I'm actually going to have to end this uh, episode or <laughs> vlog here. I know I, I kind of got cut off by um, the phone and what I was kind of talking about, but mainly just the point was is that you know I believe that anybody has the right to say what they want to say, you know, as long as it uh, doesn't threaten anybody. Um, um, you know, it, there's... You know, it's it's hard to uh, classify what is threatening when you when you say certain things about uh, certain people or certain religions or political groups or you know any, anything like that. Um, it's kind of hard to what do you how do you classify um, bullying or making fun of somebody or how do you, how do you distinguish between those two? You know, what's the type of degree where those two are totally different or are they kind of the same or or is one you know, I don't know, different than the other or whatever. Um, yeah, so really, that's actually mainly what what this video was actually really I, what I what I really wanted to talk about was you know videos being taken down, videos being flagged for no reason, and you know I also watched uh, the Archfiend. Uh, I, I like him too. I, I'm subscribed to him. I'm sub I'm subscribed to Mr. Ripsion. I like a lot of his videos and. Um, and I also think I am subscribed to the Amazing Atheist. Um, find that he makes a very entertaining, and um, he kind of has like I don't know how to explain that. He is very uh, 
I guess you could say he's very eccentric, um, just on camera. I don't know what he's like in real life, or, or you know, I don't know what he's like in uh, when he's not recording anything or anything like that. But uh, he's definitely very, um, I don't know, how do I say strange, but in a good way. Um, that's kind of my view <laughs> on him a little bit. That he's he makes good, entertaining videos. I like his videos, uh, most of them. Um, you know, but then he also is, you know, he has a, uh, he has that blunt approach that, um, you know, a lot of people, um, I, I have a very blunt approach to people. I try to be, I, I, I'm a little bit too honest with people at certain times and, you know, um, and I, I, I find that to be good, but then it is also can be a kind of a hindrance to certain people, um. But I find them, I you know, I like a lot of those. I like those guys, and um, you know, Daniel's cool. He's I like him a lot, and uh, yeah. So, anyways, um, yeah, nothing much else to say. You know, I kind of told everybody that my one of my SNL videos, for some random reason, got um, blocked world worldwide. Ugh, sorry, tongue that thing. Worldwide, uh, for some reason, got blocked, um, which is weird because I had it up for probably like six, five or six months um, with no problems. It had about eleven thousand views on it. I wasn't making any money off of it because I'm, I'm not doing Google AdSense. Um, I'm not doing you know a YouTube partnership or I'm not doing any type of partnership really. Um, I had looked into that and I just. Uh, I think I need to upgrade some of my things before I do that. Um, I need to upgrade to a better mic, <laughs> obviously. Uh, I need to upgrade to a better mic and a. Um, I guess my webcam for now is fine um, for recording vlogs, um, but I also need a, a capture card. I really need a capture card, and I'm trying to save it for that. And so, yeah, I'll probably think about trying to apply for a partnership. I know I have sub a couple friends on Xbox and I know them, you know, kind of through uh, talking to them on YouTube and also on Xbox and they're cool guys. Uh, I don't really want to mention names, but you know, Tectonic Reup, he's a pretty cool guy I've talked to um, you know, before in the past about, you know, um, I've just talked to him about a lot of stuff and Oh, I've asked him for advice on like capture cards, and uh, there was a thing I asked him about live streaming. Have you ever done that? And he said no, but he has a friend who did, and he kind of told me kind of. This was a long time ago when I had no idea like how to do live streaming and stuff, and uh, on on Black Ops Two, and uh, yeah, problem is is that my I have a good connection to internet, but it seems like when trying to live stream, it like it pulls my internet down even farther. Uh, I have Wi-Fi, I have Comcast, it's pretty fast, um, high-speed internet, but it uh, seems like when I try to live stream it, it's, uh, it's, it's hard to do. I think I have to have um, less people in a party, I'll probably just have to like a live stream um, a game by myself, and the problem is usually when I do a live stream by myself, I, I usually don't do that well. <laughs> um, so anyways... I think my dad might be home, so probably have to stop this here soon. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I know I just kind of talked a little bit about random stuff in the beginning, uh, but then I guess at kind of the middle end, I kind of uh, picked up on where I wanted to go, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs>